Hey Mark here. I'm gonna start some corn. Did this once already this year for some sweet corn I wanted to plant. It was getting late, so I pre germinated it down in the basement. This stuff here I'm gonna try it says Sunny Day Gourmet red corn, fine dried foods. And the reason we got that is uh, the wife found it on sale for buck forty. Tried to eat some, but it's too hard. I don't know what you do with it. Anyway, this is red corn from Mexico. By the date, best buy date here, I'd say it's about two years old. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take some of these, and I'm just going to I'm just going to lay them out here in my little tray, seed tray. You can use whatever you got. This is what I got right now. I'm Put some in there, and all I did was enough water in there to cover them. I'll put it on a little more level surface than I got here. Put that in there. And then to keep them down, I took a paper towel, a little moist. And laid that right on top of them to kind of help keep keep them in the water. So that was pretty much the extent of that. Now I just wait, and in about two weeks, you should have something that looks like this. This corn is sprouted. It's got a good little root system going on it here. And I'm going to plant these out in the garden today. So I'll just show you. Yeah, this is about two weeks old. I commit a lot of my uh, dates to memory, so that usually fails me. I actually started off with about 60 kernels of corn. Now this stuff was two years old, 60 kernels. You had about 42 that germinated, started growing. And these were the failures here. Getting kind of funky looking. What I'm gonna do with that, I'm gonna do with that before I plant it though, is we're gonna put some mycorrhizae on there. And this is the uh, product I happen to have right now. Had different different product once before, but I think they're <coughs> excuse me. Okay. So before I plant these, what I'm going to do is uh, put some mycorrhizae on the roots, and this happens to be the product I'm using right now. I had two bags of this stuff. It lasts me a long time. And how I'm going to do that? Back off a little bit here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this mycorrhizae, and I've used paint brushes or little paint brushes to sprinkle it on roots and that. And I do my tomato plants and pepper plants. I transplant them. I usually do that. But these roots are no soil on them yet, and they're right in the open. And I'm just going to dump that. What the mycorrhizae does it's they're living organisms. It's like different funguses. There's several different ones in there and um, it actually creates a symbiotic, what they call a symbiotic relationship with the plant. It'll develop little what looks like root hairs on the roots of the corn or whatever plant you're doing. The only thing it doesn't seem to work good for I guess is uh, the coal crops, cabbage and broccoli and those things. And it uh, helps take the nutrients out of the soil and transfers it to the roots. So we're going to do all this. It doesn't take a whole lot. This is, like I say, it's a living organism. So once it gets going, it'll actually reproduce on there and make more of them. Oops, that one ain't no good. I think I uh, should have got these in yesterday, but got busy doing something else. And I didn't really want to get that on the corn itself. Just keep it on the roots. I don't know if it hurts anything or not, but I'm just curious what this is going to turn out to be. It's said it's Mexican corn.
Okay, these those don't look like they're doing too good. I'm gonna take those out. I won't be able to see the mycorrhizae on it too well, but I'm gonna take those out, plant them in the garden. And uh, we'll see how how it does by the end of the season. It's getting a little bit late in Wisconsin here for planting corn, but I'm hoping that by pre-germinating it, getting a root system going, that uh, it'll take off and by fall I'll get some corn out of it. Okay, Mark here. It's two days now since I started this video. It's July 6th. And I showed you how I germinated these corn. Uh, right after that I planted them out. July 8th today. And uh, here's where I planted them. And as you can see they're coming up pretty good, pretty fast. There's one there. I put a clothespin just for uh, reference. So a basic clothespin. So it's growing pretty fast. I didn't have a lot of these. I don't have a lot of space, so I, I uh, just doubled these up. There's going to be two per spot here. Growing up pretty good. Yeah. A little different angle here. So, this shows how uh, good that works if you don't have a lot to put in. Pre germinate that corn, get it in. It's getting kind of late, so I wanted to give it a head start. The sweet corn, I did the same thing, and uh, here this is over here. Got a little field of it growing. Well, some of it must be about a foot high now, and that's been growing in here for, say, just uh, about two weeks, maybe a little bit over two weeks, two and a half. And that's doing real good. That's candy corn. There's a variety I got growing there. My giant hollyhock. I then in one of my previous videos. I don't know how that plant got there, but there it is. And they're gonna be nice red blooms, it looks like. Plant's not gonna stay here. We're gonna get it out of here someday. So right now it's about seven feet tall. This one here, the longest tallest one. And about six foot, so just a little side note. Get the corn planted around the hollyhock, so it's gonna block some of the sunlight. But once that hollyhock's done blooming, they're biennial. So once these main stalks are done blooming, I'll just uh, cut them right out of there. Just a little footnote, new project I got going. Had the slab poured uh, yesterday. And I'm gonna put in a greenhouse here from Megastore, Megastore Greenhouse. Or Greenhouse Megastore, I guess it comes sells. The 18 by 18, about 10 and a half feet tall. So that's going to be a project for me to work on for a while.